well, here's my next question. This is a good follow up. So there's a, I think there's a, there could be a difference between creating wealth and finding it, you know, generate, generating it and keeping it and maintaining yeah. it. So is there a distinction between those two creating wealth versus keeping it over time? Yeah. Cause obviously you got the ups and downs of business and life and shit, but yeah. people can also take, you know, there's predators, there's women, yeah. there's men, people can take your shit. Yeah. So what's the mindset difference between those two or the, or the difference between those two Keep creating it versus keeping it? Yeah, that's a really good question. I think that uh, it depends how you're making it in the first place. So I've always kind of been focused on cash flow, money in. So my philosophy is money in. So I spend a lot of money. I'm not a, a, fru I'm not a frugal man at all. I, I blow money. But as long as my income... Dude, is... you're so beta. You blow money on women, bro. What the fuck, bro? You buy girls <laughs> oh, dinner? What the fuck, ooh, dude? Ooh, I know. Crazy. <laughs> um, <laughs> but if, 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 uh, if, if I know my income is secure... I don't give a fuck. If I know I'm going to get 100 grand next week, I'll blow 100 grand today because I know it's coming, so I don't care. That's how my attitude to money is. So one is how secure is your cash flow? Like, do you have a cash flow that's genuinely secure? I, I am lucky with webcam, with girls, because I know it's most one of the most secure industries of the world. Recession-proof, virus-proof, pandemic-proof, like Christmas, New Year, 365, 24 days. <laughs> you come at me with some bullshit, there are girls online and there are dudes sending them money. So I'm quite lucky with that. It's probably through the roof right now, right? I mean, it's crazy. Double. Double. Yeah. Double. I got girls making two thousand dollars a day. Wow. Yeah. yeah. It's for nothing. This is hundred percent margin. Yeah. So um, Jesus. yeah. So um, it's good from that perspective. That's one thing. But another thing in regards to protecting your wealth, I think a lot of that's common sense, and a lot of that's ruthlessness. And I know it's not easy in the West because, like, you have women and they can take your stuff and blah blah blah. Litigation to lawyers and shit, all kinds of bullshit. But this is another thing I teach in my Hustlers University course. There's 100 lessons. Another lesson I teach is you got to make sure you feed yourself. So it's easy when you get a baby like your business and your company and you love your baby. You need to reinvest in it. Of course you do. But there has to come a point where you look at the balance sheet and go, you know what? The business is going to struggle a little bit, but I'm going to take this five grand. I'm going to put it in my bank so that this all goes fucked. I still have that five grand. Hmm. So I had a couple companies in the past where I fucked up, where I was turning over. I ran an advertising agency, a TV advertising. I don't even talk about this. I ran a TV advertising agency when I was 20. So I was working for, I, I got a job selling TV advertising. And I turned out to be a really good salesman within the first few months. And the, the best salesman quit to start his own company and took me with him, convinced me to be a partner in this new company. So at 20, I owned an advertising agency. So we were turning over money, but we were robbing Peter to pay Paul. So like we were doing deals, but they were selling too cheap to get them in. And the only way we could pull the deal off and get them on TV was to land a new deal. So we were bringing in new money and paying for old shit. So we were in a, we were in a death spiral. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, I, and the whole time I was in a death spiral, we were in a death spiral for about two years. We were pulling it off for like two years. And we turned over like $3 million, which is, you know, money. But we were so busy trying to perpetuate and keep this death spiral alive that when it all went tits up, we finished broke. It all went down, we're broke. And if I knew then what I know now, I would have just every single week out of that death spiral, I would take a couple thousand and goes, this is fucked anyway. So go, take that. Okay, I'll do the best I can with what's left. Okay, take that. We'll do the best. So when it all goes down, I can go, well, I got half a mil. So whatever. Yeah. So that's another thing you got to be prepared for. You got to be prepared for that. You know, you got to say, all right, well, the, why does the business exist? Because I created it. So the business needs to look after me as much as I need to look after the business. And then there's another thing, a part of it is, the one thing people do too much, especially with women, is talk. Look, I, my girls don't know how much money I make. These are girls I've been with for years, and they don't know anything. I mean, and these are girls who work on cam, and they see their own money, but they don't know what the other girls make. They don't know what the casino makes me. They don't know what I'm making on courses. These girls don't know what I make, and I will never fucking tell them. Why would I need to brag to pussy I'm already fucking? Like, well, like, well put. Well put. Well, why? No hey, return. Hey, well, dude, dudes come home. Hey, baby, I landed that really big deal, baby, and I landed that big contract, baby. Yeah. If I was him, I'd be like, listen, you're already fucking that bitch. Land the contract, take that money, put it in a separate fucking bank account in your brother's name in case that hoe tries a fucking divorce, and then yeah. you got something set. Like, just shut up. People they probably talk feel they feel worthless. Probably is why they're doing it. They don't feel like they, they want deserve to prove it. something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but it, it's you need to if, if your woman's already in check and she really loves you, then she really doesn't care about money as much as you think. So a lot of guys need to learn to shut up and put things aside. I yeah. look if, if if I lived in the West and I had to go through a divorce, I can guarantee fucking tee you. And I'm saying this on video, my woman would leave with nothing. I'm a millionaire. Yeah. She would leave with nothing. I would set it all on fire before I gave her a fucking penny. 
You want to yeah. suck new dick on my money? No yep. fucking way. Yep. And I don't care what it takes. I'll go jail. I'll put it all into Bitcoin and send it all around the world. I'll give it to my brother. I'll fucking put it in a big pile and light it on fire. Don't give a shit. You ain't Joker, getting a fucking Joker lick. Joker style. Joker yeah, you ain't style. getting a lick from me. And yep. most men aren't militant enough. Most men just collapse to the system. Mm, mm, mm. I say, look, if your yeah. wife won't believe you and you got millions, you love America that much? Fuck that. Move to Thailand. Don't fuck herself. That's what yeah. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't be playing those games. So, but one of the biggest things men can do, especially for protecting their wealth, because the one thing that's going to steal it from you is, is women. You need to have a whole bunch put away they don't know about. I don't care how much you love your wife. Get another bank account. What's wrong with you? And shut up. That's what you need to do. But people don't, they don't think ahead and then it goes wrong. Yeah, it's good.